69. Thanks, Ryan, by the way, for setting me up like that. You know, nothing like a raising the bar high. Um, so, so I want to I want to talk about serving tonight. Um, but first, can can everybody hear me? Okay, this is a little little bit noisier than Carol's, and Steve is giving me the ears. And so um, I'm tur tur try to turn it up a little bit um, without using what my wife called my teacher voice. Um, so, so I want to talk about serving. Um, and I want to start out talking about with where, where I've been with that um, and what, what my life has, has looked like um, before I came to Blue Ridge, before, before God taught me a lot here about serving. And it starts out, um, I grew up outside of, of Green Bay, Wisconsin, a small town, um, small church. I was a huge cheese head, um, beer and bratwurst, and uh, cheese, lots of cheese. Um, and, you know, it, my family grew up serving in, in the church, and we were there, um, you know, I mean, th I, c I can really remember times when we were at church more than we were at home. You know, so that, that's where my background was, and, and when, I left, when I left home, I went to college, um, and I, I really became what I was looking back on, and it's like a servaholic. Um, you know, I served on, on leadership teams, um, I served on event planning committees, I served on Bible studies, um, you know, I, I became involved with this campus Christian group that was a great organization. Um, and, and I'm telling you guys this, not, not to, you know, hey, this is where my life, life has been and I did all these great things, um, but to kind of set the stage for, for what it looked like on the outside. Um, but what I want to share with you guys was what it looked like for me on the inside. You know, I, I knew a lot about serving. You know, I knew the questions to ask. You know, it's, God, where are you working around me? Um, God, you know, where do you want me to join you? And what do you want that to look like? But at, at some point, I, I made this transition. You know, it became, God, thank you so much for showing me, you know, this area over here where you want me to serve, and, and you want me to show up there, and um, I've got this great plan and this great vision for it, um, and so I'm just going to go do it, and I'm going to get it right, and it's going to be great. Uh, and, and, and if you heard there, you know, there was that transition from, from the God to the I. You know, the serving became about me and my plans. Um, and, and I want to give you a, a story of, of what that looked like. Um, I, I intentionally um, spent a couple extra years living in dorm rooms so I could serve some of the younger freshman guys who were coming in. And so I was meeting with a group of these guys um, regularly, and we, we'd been meeting for a couple, of about, couple months, and because I was the cool, older, upperclassman, you know, I was interested in them, I was interested in their lives, you know, they, they would respond to that. And, you know, so we could have these, you know, God conversations about where are you with God, um, you know, how, how does God want to get in your life? Um, you know, God gave me influence over them, and I was able to use that to, to, to pour God's love into their life. And so, but a after a few months of this, you know, this other opportunity came along. You know, and I, it, w it was the opportunity to kind of do the same thing and to serve as part of, of this new ministry to, to Greeks, which is um, fraternities and sororities on our campus. And it was a ministry that had never really been done before. Um, but I got the opportunity to spearhead it. And so, so in my mind, I was thinking, man, I could make this big impact in the Greek community, you know. And so I made the choice that I was going to stop serving, you know, stop meeting with these guys, um, stop, stop pouring into them, because I didn't have time to do both. Um, so, I, so I let this group in my dorm die. Um, you know, the guys saw that um, our relationships died. You know, I mean, they, they, what they saw in me was they saw Christ reflected in me, and that was a guy who didn't have time for them. And you know that 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 was that was a time when, when, when I look back on that, I never sought what God's heart was there. You know, I, I don't know what He would have called me to do, um, but I, I never honestly asked Him what He wanted in that situation. You know, I I, pr I probably said I, I know I said some prayers. You know, I, I talked to some Christian brothers and, and sisters about it, and but in my mind, you know, I'd already made up that decision. So I I. I, you know, that, that group, um, it, it's just one, 
but, but it was a pattern that happened again and again. Um, you know, God would reveal himself. He'd be like, look, here, here's a place where I'm working around you. You know, I jump into it with serving. Um, but eventually, it became about me. And, you know, the hard part, you know, and, and this week, I've, I spent a lot of time looking back and thinking about this and, and wrestling with what was happening there. You know, in those places, there were good places. Um, and, and a lot of good things were happening. But it was me making the choices about which good things and which good places I would serve in. You know, I never honestly went to God and let Him have the choice of which places I wanted to serve in. So, like I said, that for me that became a pattern. Um, so I found myself serving because I was I was expected to lead, um, you know, lead groups. Um, I thought I could have an impact here, so I'd serve there. You know, I'd, and eventually it became about, you know, I have this reputation to maintain. You know, I'm really good at serving. I'm really good at, you know, bringing people together for God. And so, you know, no matter what God's telling me, you know, I have to keep doing that. Um, and, and what happened was I was so busy serving um, that my relationship with Christ, the part where we've been talking about in church, where he reveals himself to me and I, I respond to him um, in worship, in gratitude, serving, you know, that got put on the back burner. And, and eventually, um, after my fourth year in school, I, I got an opportunity to pull out of serving, you know, pull out of this group, and kind of take a step back. You know, I looked at everything I'd been a part of, you know, and, and there wasn't a whole lot of fulfillment. There wasn't a whole lot of fruit there. You know, I, I looked back on it, and I was burned out. I was like, man, if that's what being part of a Christian organization and serving is like, i, I got to find something else, because this, this is, I, I don't see anything there. You know, it's empty for me. Um, so I started hanging out with a group of people. Um, they weren't Christ followers, but they had these really good values of, of service, you know, brotherhood, loyalty. Um, you know, we were buds. Um, but, but what did we do? You know, we went out and we partied. Um, keg parties, we bar hopped. Um, you know, it was, it was empty. And, and after a while of that, you know, I started looking back, and I, I got the same thing. I'm like, look, so I've, I've done this, and, and I still feel the same way. There's no fulfillment. It's kind of empty for me. There's no purpose there. Um, now, luckily, in, in God's grace, he kept moving me along. Um, I ended up moving to Lynchburg. And after a while, God uh, got, got um, led to Blue Ridge. My wife and I started coming to Blue Ridge, um, showed up on the first Sunday, and uh, it was something different. I think they did um, Eye of the Tiger as the opener to the service. And we're like, hey, this church is definitely different. Um, there's got to be something new here. Steve, Steve over there smiling. You might have been drumming for that one. Um, you know, I, I had an interesting set of circumstances. Um, I got a kidney stone. I was in the hospital. And if you guys, any of you guys know Hutch, he's a nurse. He was the one who was uh, giving my pain meds. And, and so he was slipping me his card with this number on it. And um, said, you know, hey, we've got a group that, that meets, and it's some couples group. And I mean, I was up on morphine, so I was up for anything, man. Um, that was a joke. Hutch was very professional about it. Very nice. <laughs> um, but I ended up going to this um, group and running into Will there. And he told me about, <laughs> this made him wince. Um, he told me about Saturday morning breakfast and invited me to start serving on the parking team. And... Um, you know, he, he made this comment to me about how the parking team was a great place for people to serve who didn't fit in inside the building. Um, and, and for me, it was, it was the opposite. You know, I didn't want to, I, I was afraid that I would fit in too well inside the building. You know, I knew God had something for me. You know, I, I, I knew God had something in service. You know, there was, there was this joy and this, this fulfillment out there that I knew was there. But I didn't want to make the same mistakes that I was made. I didn't want it to be the same. Um, and God, you know, he had something for me in the parking lots. You know, he put me with these group of guys. Um, they're not perfect. But they honestly are asking those questions. You know, I can see them honestly ask the questions. You know, God, where are you working around me? You know, God, where do you want me?